I wanted to uh, present this talk. Uh, well, the uh, interest, uh, interesting aspect is that uh, uh, although the section is called arsenide superconductors, uh, cadmium arsenide is usually referred uh, not as a semi, uh, superconductor uh, um, because the superconductivity in this material is uh, rather challenging to realize. Um, uh, basically, these compounds uh, have been studied for several decades now, uh, and uh, in the early stages, it was considered as a simple uh, narrow gap semiconductor. Uh, but, uh, and uh, because of that, uh, many groups uh, were focused on its uh, potential applications in uh, infrared optics. However, even in early works, uh, there were several reports on certain anomalies in this material namely the anomalously high electron mobilities at room temperature, which was uh, really high at that time. Uh, and uh, existing uh, uh, theoretical models couldn't explain it uh, properly, and it remained a mystery for up until recent days. And the interest uh, in um, investigation of this compound has been renewed uh, several years ago uh, after a theoretical prediction that cadmium arsenide can host uh, Dirac metal phase. Well, basically, the Dirac states uh, are characterized by gapless linear dispersion uh, and uh, spin chirality phenomena, which is also often referred to as spin momentum locking. Uh, and in the case of cadmium arsenide, it was uh, verified experimentally, uh, both uh, by spectroscopic techniques, which are presented on this slide. Uh, uh, basically, the RPS measurements showed the presence of the bulk uh, uh, Dirac uh, cone. Uh, in cadmium arsenide, and also uh, several uh, works on magnetic transport measurements uh, revealed the presence of um, uh, quantized berry phase uh, detected the, um, in uh, as the anomalous shift of Chubnik of the gas oscillation phase, uh, which also confirmed uh, that uh, the uh, cadmium arsenide uh, hosts the direction metal phase. Well, basically. Uh, the benefit of this material is that it have rather simple uh, band structure. It have, uh, has only two Dirac nodes, uh, and uh, and unlike many other Dirac metal materials, it's uh, it is highly stable at ambient conditions, which is why uh, lately many groups uh, uh, have been working with it. However. Um, there are some downsides. Uh, mainly, uh, uh, there are major issues uh, in um, synthesis of uh, good quality samples. And uh, it is due to the uh, presence of four polymorph modifications of cadmium arsenide. Uh, in the case of pristine cadmium arsenide, these modifications are stable and at different uh, temperature ranges. And uh, uh, recent uh, theoretical works uh, suggested that uh, three tetragonal modifications, alpha, alpha 1 and alpha 2, uh, host uh, drugs in metal spectrum while a uh, high temperature cubic modification is a trivial uh, semiconductor. Uh, the key idea of uh, such studies is that uh, if one combines a uh, topologically non-trivial system with the uh, superconducting states, uh, there are high chances that this uh, superconductivity uh, can have also, topological nature, meaning that um, it have uh, non-trivial uh, uh, pairing potential, which uh, is uh, quite a hot, uh, quite a hot topic. Uh, 
uh, as it can be potentially applied to uh, fault tolerant quantum computing. Uh, therefore, um, alongside with the studies of basic properties of cadmium arsenide, there, were, uh, there are several groups uh, that studies uh, its combination with superconductivity. And the first uh, work that showed uh, superconducting states, uh, superconducting state in cadmium arsenide, uh, uh, was the study uh, of um, uh, structural magnetic properties of the, uh, such crystal under uh, large hydrostatic pressure. And uh, after authors showed that uh, definitely there is a, a superconducting uh, transition at the sub Kelvin temperatures, uh, at pressures uh, of about uh, 8, 10 GPA. However, uh, before this superconducting transition occurs, the uh, crystal itself uh, changes its uh, crystal structure and uh, there is a transition between tetragonal lattice into a monoclinic symmetry lattice. Uh, however, uh, several uh, theoretical works suggested that uh, this uh, symmetry lowering can, uh, can not only sustain uh, some features of the initial phase, but uh, also stabilize uh, the non-trivial pairing state. Uh, and basically in cadmium arsenide, uh, the type of electron pairing is governed by the ratio of intra and inter orbital attraction potentials. Uh, and in this work, uh, authors uh, plotted the uh, uh, critical magnetic field versus uh, critical temperature uh, diagram, uh, which appeared to be linear and uh, as it was in the case of bismuth selenide, the known topological insulator, and authors argued that uh, this is the manifestation, well, not the manifestation, or rather than indication of possible topological nature of this superconducting state. Uh, and uh, theoretical works, uh, works uh, basically uh, agreed with it. Other groups uh, focused on uh, rather uh, externally induced uh, superconducting uh, transitions. Mainly, uh, there were several works uh, on um, point contact spectroscopy of, cadmium of, of the surface of cadmium arsenide uh, crystal. And uh, early works uh, found that the uh, superconductive uh, state occurs only in the hard contact regime, which is basically similar to the, uh, the action of hydrostatic pressure, it's uh, local deformation. However, uh, later uh, uh, some groups showed that uh, if uh, the surface will be uh, covered with a, a non-superconductive metal film, even in the soft contact regime, the superconductive uh, state occurs. Um, and uh, many um, recent works are focused uh, on the studies of uh, Josephson junction uh, based on the cadmium arsenide microstructures. And all of these works basically suggest that uh, if you can realize a uh, superconductive state in cadmium arsenide by the proximity effect or the uh, local hydrostatic pressure, it should uh, have uh, topological origin, well, namely the triplet pairing. 
And uh, however, all these works uh, are focused on uh, the superconductivity, which is induced by external uh, stimuli. Our group uh, ha uh, has started uh, work with cadmium arsenide several years ago. Uh, we started with bulk crystals, but um, as an additional uh, research direction, we started to investigate properties of uh, th thin cadmium arsenide films. And uh, first films that uh, that we got was uh, obtained by magnetron sputtering and uh, preliminary uh, characterization showed that the surface of these films uh, is formed by uh, rather large grains which uh, have uh, which are distant to each other and between them, uh, the surface is formed by overlapping smaller grains. Uh, as it basically depicted on this IFM image. And the studies of elemental composition shows that uh, both in the plane part of the surface and on the surface grains, uh, the ratio of cadmium and arsenide signal measured uh, from the ED, EDX spectroscopy is basically close to stoichiometric ratio, meaning that uh, the whole film is, uh, is stoichiometric. Also, as the indirect uh, indication uh, that uh, this film is cadmium arsenide, uh, we uh, measured uh, Raman uh, spectra, which show two distinct peaks, which are characteristic for many um, cadmium arsenide nanostructures and thin films. So, uh, such spectra was observed in many uh, nanostructures and thin films. Uh, and uh, the X-ray investigation showed that uh, these films basically consist uh, of two polymorph modifications of cadmium arsenide, meaning that this uh, film uh, is polycrystalline. Um, uh, we studied um, basically three uh, samples made by magnetron sp uh, sputtering. Uh, two samples were on silicon substrates, one on uh, sapphire substrates, and with thicknesses from 40 nanometers to 80 nanometers, meaning that it is the thickness of this uh, flat part. Um, as the uh, film was cooled down to milli Kelvin uh, temperature range, we observed uh, a drastic decrease of sample resistivity uh, and uh, uh, after applying um, uh, small magnetic fields, these transitions shifted at lower temperature, which is characteristic for a superconductive transition. Uh, here we, um, while um, when we studied corresponding literature, we found that uh, uh, in different um, materials, uh, uh, the uh, position of uh, superconductive transition uh, is characterized by different uh, amplitudes uh, of the resistance. Well, this is not such a big deal when the transition is rather sharp, but in our case we observed a uh, very broad transition, which is why uh, if we characterize it by the onset of the transition or the midpoint, the absolute values are uh, vary significantly. However, uh, if we normalize these values, uh, they basically have the same character. Uh, and uh, and as a convenient uh, 
approximation, we chose a simple linear function, which uh, describes well this uh, diagram in the intermediate uh, temperature range. Uh, when when we uh, started to um, measure various samples, uh, well, what, uh, our main goal was to uh, elaborate uh, main parameters that govern uh, this superconductive state, and basically films that were uh, that had different. Uh, thicknesses, uh, uh, however, showed uh, quite uh, similar transition temperatures. Similar thing was studied uh, uh, in similar film was studied um, magnetic resistance dependencies. It also showed characteristic uh, shape and uh, uh, relatively large anisotropy of critical field, which is common for thin films, basically. And uh, uh, therefore, all studied uh, films have this linear uh, uh, BCTC diagram uh, and basically demonstrated the very uh, similar properties. Uh, additionally, we measured uh, differential um, resistance curves, which allowed us to roughly estimate critical current, uh, which appeared to be around 25 microamperes uh, for this sample. Um, however, at this stage, we uh, we're not sure uh, where this superconductivity comes from because there are at least one work where uh, epitaxial cadmium arsenide film was studied in the same temperature range. Uh, however, no superconductivity, uh, superconducting transition was observed. Uh, given the fact that uh, the uh, hydrostatic uh, pressure can induce superconductivity in carbon arsenide. We thought, we thought that um, the uh, similar strain can uh, occur in the film during the cooling process. However, ex uh, existing literature references show that the uh, thermal expansion coefficient of uh, carbon arsenide is quite large. And uh, to induce this strain, uh, it should be a difference between coefficients of the film and of substrate. However, the substrate material have significantly smaller uh, coefficient values, meaning that uh, in our case, if this is uh, the reason for the uh, superconductivity to occur, our film became uh, experience a uh, tensile strain and uh, while for compression strain there are some works that can be ref uh, referred uh, and some theoretical investigations for tensile strain there are no references so it's very hard to conclude that uh, this can be a reason for the superconductive state to occur However, uh, just to verify that this state uh, is not uh, related to uh, details of the sample uh, preparation, uh, we studied an, uh, yet another set of uh, films obtained with a thermally, uh, thermal evaporation technique. Uh, they were you know, somewhat thicker uh, both films uh, were deposited on silicon substrates. Uh, uh, X-ray diffraction studies showed that um, it have uh, well, uh, there is a crystalline cadmium arsenide phase. However, 
unlike transparent films, in this case we observe peaks uh, which corresponds to a powder diffraction pattern. Uh, uh, therefore, we couldn't um, distinguish which polymorph uh, modification we deal with. However, uh, electron microscopy uh, experiments revealed that the surface of these films are similar to the magnetron spider ones. Uh, thus, uh, these two sets of samples are quite similar in, in terms of their structure. And magnetotransport studies clearly show the very same superconductive transition. Uh, and we used uh, basically the same arguments here. Uh, we observed a linear um, uh, uh, BCTC diagram, which uh, and the experimental uh, points. Uh, starts to deviate from this line only at the um, at the minimal and maximal temperature ranges uh, and me measured uh, critical current in this case was estimated as about 20 micro amperes uh, so it's also quite similar to that obser uh, observed uh, for magneton spider things therefore uh, we reproduced this state uh, superconductive state on the totally different samples uh, made from different uh, precursors by different me me method. Uh, and in this case we uh, decided to look at the properties of the normal state uh, and uh, the health in fact was that uh, at uh, higher fields there were uh, shipping of the gas oscillations, uh, which were processed using rather classical approaches. Well, basically, uh, these uh, two samples, uh, while have uh, considerable difference in normal state resistivity, they both uh, show uh, the very same uh, oscillation spectra. Uh, with frequency of about 70 Tesla and uh, as it uh, as it uh, cadmium arsenide should be a Dirac semi-metal uh, we uh, plotted in the classical uh, Landau fan diagram to uh, distinguish the oscillation phase uh, however um, in this case uh, we ascribed integer, integer uh, Landau level numbers to maximum of oscillation. Therefore, uh, and in this case, uh, the very phase should give uh, around zero shift. Uh, but as we observed, uh, phase shift of about uh, 0 0.5, it is similar to the uh, trivial case, meaning that the uh, Dirac semi-metal phase can be uh, damped in this film. However, um, the reason for such damping uh, is not very clear at the moment because, um, well, the the only argument is that uh, this film uh, is characterized by a very high electron density, uh, which is about uh, 10 to 18 uh, uh, centimeters. Um, and um, this aspect is not very, uh, how should I say, it? there is no uh, agreement in literature, uh, because uh, in te in textbook example, uh, when you shift Fermi level in the Dirac semi metal, uh, when you stay near the Dirac node, you should have Dirac semi metal system, 
but uh, in the case of carbon marcinide, uh, when you shift it, shift it too high, you uh, the system goes through the leafless transition when two cones merge. Therefore, uh, basic theory says that uh, at these thermal levels, uh, all characteristic features of the rocks in the metal should vanish. However, there are many reports uh, of uh, these features uh, basically conserves even at higher uh, electron densities. Well, uh, we applied uh, the same approach to the magnetron spadrat films, and here we observed a uh, more complicated form of oscillation, basically suggesting that there are several frequencies. Uh, and uh, in addition, uh, these frequencies uh, are much higher than those in uh, thermal evaporated films. In this table, uh, I've collected uh, basic parameters of uh, two representative samples uh, obtained by magnetron spiraling and uh, thermal evaporated. And as you can see from this table, the, while the structure of properties of two films are quite similar, uh, the parameters of superconducting uh, state and the of normal state are, are very different. Um, and the, the only uh, parameter change that does not raise any question is the uh, decrease of uh, anisotropy uh, ratio of uh, critical field because uh, thermally operated films uh, were thicker therefore this uh, the ratio between uh, longitudinal and uh, transverse critical fields is smaller but all other parameters uh, well their effect uh, is uh, it is not well understood at the moment, but basically, magneton spiral films uh, had even higher electron densities, uh, about four times higher, but uh, they have, uh, uh, but the uh, critical field in this case was uh, much lower. Therefore. Uh, as a conclusion, uh, we basically uh, we observed these superconductive states. We reproduced it, showing that this is uh, somewhat an, uh, a universal feature of polycrystalline films. Uh, the uh, uh, plotted uh, uh, BC TC diagrams uh, have pronounced linear character in the intermediate temperature range, which can be considered as an indication of uh, possible uh, topological nature of this superconductive state. Uh, and uh, magnetic transport studies also showed that the original Dirac metal phase can be damped in these films due to high electron densities. And while uh, all films show the very similar, well, qualitatively uh, similar behavior, the actual parameter values uh, strongly depends on the chosen synthesis approach. Well, thank you. Okay, <coughs> thank you. Um, hello, uh, I have a question about uh, the very uh, beginning of your presentation when you showed some literature. And uh, you said that uh, there was evidence, uh, re uh, recent, uh, exactly the one, uh, by Zhang and co-workers in Chinese physics letters. Uh, I missed the, what is the explanation of the fact that there is a, an announcement of TC even with the soft technique? Um, uh, well, the idea is that um, while the, uh, there are no reports of uh, superconductivity in bulk cadmium marcinite uh, without a pressure. However, as the, uh, well, media for inducing superconductivity, cadmium marcinite uh, works very good. 
but in in the case of uh, metallic film <coughs> deposition, uh, as far as I understood, there, there were no simple explanation. They just uh, uh, they just reported this result. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Leonid, and I also want to ask you, uh, <clears throat> you should look at the has periodicity which you measure. Does it, uh, some, can it somehow be compared with the bulk uh, thermosurface surface of the cadmium arsenide? Um, could you repeat, please? The, <clears throat> you measured the subject of the has oscillations and you measured the periodicity. Can the periodicity be uh, compared with the bulk fermi surface of the cadmium arsenide? Well, uh, we did not uh, focus on the anisotropy measurements. Uh, in terms of absolute values, uh, the uh, obtained uh, electron densities uh, are very high. So in pristine uh, bulk cadmium arsenide, uh, many results are restricted to electron densities of about uh, 5 uh, multiplied 10 to 18. So, basically, uh, thermal evaporated film uh, basically agrees with bulk values and uh, magnetron spired uh, films have electron density much higher than typically uh, than typical bulk crystals and in terms of um, thermal surface uh, cadmium arsenide have uh, well ellipsoidal thermal surface but uh, the anisotropy ratio in this case is quite small so the uh, so it's really hard to uh, well detect possible anisotropy in this case. Uh, 